first of all, um, did you see this coming? That the text to no, desist from no. attending the cabinet uh, meeting actually, today. Actually, that was not the first indication. The mm -hmm. first indication actually happened um, Friday afternoon. Mm -hmm. um, I was in Pasa. I, I was on the way to, to attend a housing housing event. I was on my way back. My chief of staff, Yusek Boyet, he called me up by phone and said um, he received a telephone call from the office of the cabinet secretary, um, informing him that. Um, the instruction was for me not to attend um, the cabinet meeting on Monday. So I was asking Yusek Boyet what the reason was, and he, he was telling me no reason was given. So I asked him, how did we receive um, the invitation to join the cabinet meeting? And, and he said by, by a formal letter of invitation. So, so I was telling him, can we request that we, we be informed of, of my, my not attending the cabinet meeting in writing mm -hmm. also? Because my, my, my sense is that if, if I just base, base my, my not attending uh, to the telephone call, mm -hmm. I might be accused of abandoning my post. Um, but the, 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 the staff from the office of the CABSEC told Yusek Boyet that um, it was out of the question for them to, mm -hmm. to send a formal letter informing me um, not to attend. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I said, if I don't get that formal letter, I will still be attending. And then we receive another phone call, this time pleading mm -hmm. uh, for me not to attend anymore so as not to aggravate the situation. So I was asking, what, what situation? And no one, no one can, can tell us. So the decision was, uh, for me to attend the cabinet meeting mm -hmm. still. But I, I told my, my staff already, um, just in case um, something happens, because it was, it was um, a Friday evening already, let's prepare my report. Mm -hmm. Because one of, the, one of the items in the agenda was a discussion of the Yolanda re rehabilitation, and Hansi was part of the cabinet cluster on Yolanda. So we prepared the report, we were here Saturday, in fact, Saturday I was I was um, still signing 660 uh, certificates wow. of lot, lot awards for a housing project in San Fernando, Pampanga. And then in the afternoon, um, a few minutes before three o'clock, I received a text message from Cabsec Junevasco, informing me to desist from attending all mm -hmm. cabinet meetings uh, starting today. Um, I, I tried to reach the president yesterday. I, I texted Sap Bongo. I was telling him I just needed confirmation from the president. Um, there was no reply at all. Mm -hmm. um, so, so my sense is that um, I, I wasn't wanted anymore, mm -hmm. and I didn't have. I, I would have wanted to still work on HADC, knowing the enormity of the problem, um, knowing that we already had my team and I already had a general under, understanding of what is needed to be done. Parang sayang. Mom, that sense of, you know, feeling of being unwanted, did you just feel that after the text message? How are the cabinet meetings in the past? When was the last cabinet yeah. meeting you attended? I, uh, sometime late November, mm -hmm. I was in Malacanang for, uh, the president was there for a NEDA board meeting. Um, the Thursday, the mm -hmm. Thursday after, the day before we received the phone call, I was in Malacanang in the mm -hmm. afternoon for a... Um, Yolanda Rehabilitation Cluster Meeting. I, I render, rendered a report. Um, nothing, nothing seemed wrong. Mm -hmm. um, he had differences in opinion. Mm -hmm. I have always been very vocal about things that I believed in. And I, 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 the president knows about this. In fact, one time I told him during a cabinet meeting of the differences in our opinion, in, and he assured me that it didn't matter. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so I, I never had any indication. I we had a lot of we had a lot of difficulties in housing. Um, our budget was slashed by more than half. Mm -hmm. um, there we're not a department. We're just a coordinating council of six agencies. Of the six agencies, only one had an appointed head, mm -hmm. and the appointed head was appointed before I was. Um, he was the former um, planning 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 head of Davao. He was appointed earlier than I was. But all the other five agencies have not been appointed yet. Agency heads have not been appointed yet. 
we have been following up with the office of the president uh, about the appointments and every time we would follow it up uh, we would be assured that it, it was forthcoming um, it was difficult in the sense that we can't go full blast with what we wanted to do so you felt that uh, from the well from the yes, start there was no support or the the support that was required was not um, was not uh, given in its entirety. Mm -hmm. I, I had several requests uh, where the president um, gave in to the request, but the major ones. Mm -hmm. um, we have a pending executive order with the office of the president. I think it has been there for several months mm -hmm. already. And this was an executive order which would have strengthened HUD-C as, as an agency. And um, if the executive order was signed, we would have we would have unlocked so many choke points yeah. until now it hasn't been signed yet but these were difficulties that we think we could ma manage yeah. mm -hmm. um, it was it was never a reason for us to give up mm -hmm. uh, we think we can work work around it it would have been much easier um, we would have performed better if if um, the budget, the appointment of the heads of agencies. If maybe you were in the same political yeah. party. <laughs> I, I don't know about that. Um, so, so actually, um, from the start, from the very start, naman, um, when I was appointed, it was already, it was already apparent that we had differences in opinion. In fact, I was telling the president we had to discuss mm -hmm. the parameters first, um, and he said he was okay with it. Mom, you said. Uh, from the moment you were appointed. Let's go back to that moment. Mm -hmm. You were appointed through a phone call, yes. which was yes. televised. And I was in Lanao del Norte at that time. And now you were like, you know, virtually fired <laughs> through a text message. Yes. Some comments online were saying it's like your boyfriend yes. break him up, <laughs> breaking up with you through text. How do you feel about that? I, you know, um, if, if you recall, right after, right after I, uh, right after we both won, mm -hmm. In the elections, the president already made statements that um, he wasn't he wasn't give me a, giving me any cabinet post mm -hmm. um, during the inauguration. He didn't want us to have a joint inauguration, so nothing surprises mm -hmm. me anymore. Mm -hmm. Pero yung feeling lang about this is sayang, mm -hmm. sayang because we were really we have really worked very hard in the pa past five months. Mm -hmm. Um, parang hindi man lang pina, you know, um, ang daming problema ng housing. Mm -hmm. Na sana hindi na mabiktima yung mga tao sa iringan ng politika. Mm -hmm. um, with, with the five months you were in HUD-C, what do you think was the best accomplishment? Medyo short time, but so far, what do you think would be your best marami. accomplishment? Mm -hmm. uh, actually, marami. Um, if at all, uh, we were able to um, finish, award, uh, approve 47,000 new housing units. Um, yung, yung proseso na streamline na namin mm -hmm. uh, before it, it takes two to three years for a housing project to come into fruition ngayon talaga nabawasan na from 27 documents na ina lang ngayon mm -hmm. um, nag, meron na kaming inventory ng, it was not there before we already have an inventory of all government properties in Metro Manila mm -hmm. I already met with the Metro Manila mayors we planned already to do a comprehensive housing roadmap for the entire Metro Manila, sabi ko hindi pwede yung mm -hmm. parang hiwa-hiwalay lang na pagplano. Ano na, everyone was excited about the initiatives that, that we were doing. Uh, may, may, may joint memorandum circular na to, about to be signed by the agencies that will also unlock many choke points. Mm -hmm. um, dati kasi hindi pwedeng gamitin yung lupa sa housing kung wala siyang titulo. Mm -hmm. uh, yun yung nakakatagal, yun yung reason kung bakit sa Yolanda sobrang, mm -hmm. sobrang delayed ng projects. Meron na kami joint memorandum circular na i-unlock na yun. Ang dami na, ang dami ng yung, yung BIR sa yung opisina namin sa NHA. Mm -hmm already entered into a memorandum of agreement na pag-certified namin as urgent, hindi na siya dadaan dun sa very circuitous na, na, na route. Ano so na? making it close for sana for common Filipinos Oo, to saka, own a home, making hindi it easier? Saka hindi siya basta, hindi siya basta um, tatayo lang ng bahay. Mm -hmm. um, kami talagang building homes, building communities, pinalitan na namin yung, yung metrics, dati yung metrics, number of houses built. Mm -hmm. 
Ngayon, hindi na yun pwede. Dapat number of lives transformed because of the houses that are given to them. Meron na kami mga policy na no, no, no eviction without without re without relocation. So, ma'am, how, how will the, the programs go now? Ako, ako sana. Kasi ngayon, si Cabinet Secretary mm -hmm. June Evasco yung magta-take over. Alam niya naman yung mga programa namin. Alam niya yung problema kasi mm -hmm. I, I report to him directly as far as how HADC is concerned. Mm -hmm. Sana, sana ipagpatuloy. Mm -hmm. At sana ito yung mga programang hindi lang pang photo ops. Mm -hmm. Ito yung mga programang talagang papalit ng buhay ng mga tao. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, um, you also mentioned in your um, earlier statement when you resign, when you announced your resignation yesterday that you were warned about a certain plot to steal the vice presidency and you mentioned about text messages from the group of uh, vice presidential candidate, former Senator Bongbong Marcos. More than the text messages, what other, you know, concrete evidence Ma do you have? Marami na, marami na talaga. There, there is an apparent, there is an apparent, um, campaign really to discredit me. Mm -hmm. eh, alam naman natin na marami siyang, marami siyang na-hire na mga uh, mga sa social media na talaga sinisiraan mm -hmm. ako. Lahat, lahat yatang kwento na sabi na uh, may boyfriend ako, mm -hmm. may, may asawa ako dati, mm -hmm. na nag revolutionary tapos mm -hmm. naging buntis ako. Um, ako yung nagpa-fund ng mga rallies. Y you mm. know these things. Uh, lahat hindi totoo, but these are all out, uh, attempts to discredit me. Ngayon, yung, yung linya nila that I did not perform sa housing, mm -hmm. buti na lang nirefute ka agad mm -hmm. ng mga cabinet secretaries uh, kasi hindi naman talaga totoo. Ano talaga? Parang gagawin lahat, makuha lang yung ambisyon. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think hindi ito makatarungan sa taong bayan na humalal sa amin. Mm -hmm. uh, dahil lang sa ambisyon ng isang tao o isang pamilya, mm -hmm. sisirain na yung bansa natin. So how do you plan to go about it? There's a pending electoral protest at the presidential electoral you know, I cannot now. discuss, I cannot discuss mm -hmm. um, the case Meetings. itself because we're not allowed to do that. Ano na lang, just, just wishing na mapag yung kaso in the way that it should be decided. Mm -hmm. um, Ano naman, nakita naman natin in the past days na yung akala natin na mga taong walang pakialam. Mm -hmm. Talagang pinapa, pinapaalam yung pagkasuklam sa ganitong klaseng sistema. Okay. Ma'am, let's talk about the Liberal Party. Did you inform them about yes. your decision? Yes. And what's next? Do you want them to rally behind no, no, you no. or to break away from like no, the majority no, no. in the House? No. Um, nung, Yesterday, when I was already decided to hand over my resignation, I informed the leadership of the party. Um, sinabihan ko sila na these things happened, um, I will resign tomorrow. Um, wala pa, hindi pa nagbimit yung party as a party, pero they were asking me kung ano yung decision ko about um, how I will possession myself. And I told them, patuloy pa din, nothing will change. Doon sa mga policies ng gobyerno na sang-ayon tayo, buong puso yung ating pagsuporta. Pero yung mga pulisiyang palagay natin, makakasama sa atin, buong puso din yung pag upos mm -hmm. Extrajudicial killings, um, death penalty law, lowering of the age of criminal liability, we will passionately oppose them. Mm -hmm. Pero yun namang maaayos ng mga programa. Um, so supportahan natin because until now I still think that the, the success of this administration mm. is also the su success of our nation. Um, uh, President Duterte said today that he's accepting your resignation with a heavy heart. You haven't talked to him since yesterday. You've been trying to I attempted get to. in touch with him. What would be your message for the president? I, I was just uh, I, I, kahapon when I was trying to get in touch with him. I would just I was just seeking a confirmation. Mm -hmm. If indeed there was an order for me not to attend the cabinet meeting, siguro kung kinonfirm, yung next question ko, mm -hmm. siguro ano yon? Mm -hmm. Kasi ano naman, um, I serve at the pleasure of the president. Wala naman akong karapatan i demand na hindi ako tanggalen, de ba? Mm -hmm. Pero mas mabuti sana na maayos yung pag-uusap. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, uh, moving on, moving forward. Uh, through the office of the vice president, what will your your priority plans be now din. that you will more focus more on OVP? Yes. Ganun pa din, pero uh, kinausap ko, we'll, we'll go full blast still. 
with our Angat Buhay programs. Pero ngayon, we'll add housing already as an advocacy. Mm -hmm. um, parang hindi ko naman kayang iwanan yung housing na completely. Mm -hmm. Because I know the difficulties, I know the terrain already, I know that I can do so much. Kung hindi pa masamain ni Kabsek, um, June, magsasuggest pa din ako na magsasuggest sa kanya. We'll give him everything that I know.